Sustainable and Open Source Solutions. One Community Weekly Progress Update number 186. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for profit and non profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 186, October 16th, 2016 edition. As always, I'm going to be covering one week of our team's progress and accomplishments with pictures and video. If you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we'll add you to our newsletter list. Or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel and manage your updates that way. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core standards. This week, the core team, which includes the pioneer members plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, transferred the final 25% of the written content for the personal growth lesson plan to the website, as you see here. This lesson plan purpose to teach all subjects to all learning levels in any learning environment using the central theme of personal growth is now 100% completed on our website. Behind the scenes, we wrote the second 25% of the written part of the individuality lesson plan. We also completed the final 25% of the mind map for the beliefs lesson plan, bringing it to 100% complete, which you see here. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team created templates for images linking to downloadable files and specific images for our transition kitchen page. You can see the images of that work here. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team continued with layers of revisions for the upcoming Seven Villages online book. Here you can see the updated open source pages for the Earth Bay Village and the Duplical City Center. Shilsey Augustine, architect, continued her second week of helping us merge all our Earth Bay Village files. This week's focus was on altering the dimensions and text scales so that they can be readable in the sheet format and bringing the dimensions into one layer. Also working on the Earth Bay Village, Fernando Rimolina, industrial engineer specializing in project management, assumed management of the vermiculture bathroom development. What you see here are his first two weeks of outlining the project and all steps for completion. On other villages, Brianna Johnson, interior designer, architectural drafter, and 3D modeler, finished her work on the Straw Bale Village Pod 2. What you see here are the renders for the central fireplace with a chimney that can be drawn back to use the space as a stage. Dean Scholes, architectural designer, further developed what's necessary for us to create quality Cobb Village Pod 3 renders. Here's update 39 of his work, continuing to work on external details and providing this final render of the external view looking east, and this final view of the front of the village. Hamilton Matika, AutoCAD and Revit drafter and designer, also finished his 12th week of helping evolve the compressed earth block village Pod 4. This week's focus was developing the Southwest residence layout, elevation, and 3D details in Revit, as you can see here. 
Guy Grossfeld, graphic designer, also continued 3D creation of the specific blocks that will be used for the compressed earth block village pod 4. What you see here is his seventh week of this work that included continued revisions for his first 3D earth block bench. Aparna Tandon, architect, additionally continued her work on the compressed earth block village external elements. What you see here is her second week of work continuing to outline the different zones and beginning to visualize the specifics of some of the areas closest to the village itself. Yi Chang Ho, interior designer, also finished her fourth week of helping by creating these new first-generation views of the shipping container village Pod 5 Unit Type 2 as they are planned for in the village, and this view of how these will be able to be open-sourced as a two-bedroom home option, too. Jiming Chen, designer with his Master's in Architecture and BA in Engineering, also continued helping develop the Treehouse Village Pod 7. What you see here is his second week of this work focusing on developing the complete layout of this village to better determine the walkway layouts and where the fire escape should best be placed. Zachary Moline, graphic designer, also continued updating the Treehouse Village Pod 7 book created by last year's intern team. What you see here is week 10 of this work, including two updated pages and the before and after graphics created for one of them. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team finished 3D layout updates for the restroom and the dining dome of the Dupula City Center, moving the urinal, towel holder, and trash can as we adjusted for better plumbing positions. We also continued developing the aesthetic details around the natural pool and the social dome. We added a waterfall to each side of the pool with adjacent sitting spaces, lighting adjustments to highlight the waterfalls, and added plants between the rocks. Iris Sue, industrial designer, continued render testing the recycled pipe shelving for the Duplical City Center Library. What you see here is round 21 of her work. This week's focus was color and texture render testing the floor and beginning final renders with people added to them. Hayes Lay, structural engineer, and Shunani, Masters of Mechanical Engineering and Civil Engineering PhD, continued their work on the city center column placement and calculations. What you see here are updated beam layouts for all the floors and some images showing the most current steel pipe sizing details for the domes themselves. Neha Verma, Construction Project Manager and Bachelors of Architecture, also helped create these first-generation wall section details drawings. Jin Chi Feng, Environmental Consultant, also continued her research helping us create an in-depth laundry and dryer machine sustainability analysis. What you see here is her sixth week of behind-the-scenes research into this area, along with the spreadsheet she is using to organize her data for professional presentation. Ricardo Carrillo, design consultant and principal of Acumen Industries, also helped provide these first-generation wall component and construction details. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, Ashwin Patil, web developer, completed his second week of helping with the new web design. This week's focus was adding all the Earthbag Village links, icons, and a new mouse over effect to the filter that will allow for easy navigation from any page to any other page within the new site. Sergei Chernyshov, founder of Enabra.org and a native of Russia, also helped us by proofreading and editing the One Community open source page written in Russian. You can see some of this work here. One Community is creating sustainable and open source solutions as a pathway to a planet that truly works for everybody, a sustainable civilization for the first time in human history. Our idea is if we can make this easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate as attractive enough, the idea of teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs can spread around the world, spreading sustainable and open source solutions to the far reaches of the world, to the places where they need it most, as a global collaboration of people working together and creating for the highest good of all humanity and all life on this planet.
Our path to achieving that is an evolution of sustainability that open sources and free shares of the foundations of physical sustainability, which are food, energy, and housing, and combines those with the foundations of emotional sustainability, which we've identified as highest good education, highest good economics, fulfilled living practices, and true earth stewardship. Putting these things together is an evolution of sustainability that will create a way of life and a way of living that most people will consider to be better than the way they're living right now. Open sourcing and free sharing it so that the idea can spread, so that people can adapt it and modify it and change it, improve it in whatever ways they think is best, and create this self-replicating model to spread the sustainable and open source solutions around the world. To accomplish this, we're bringing together people with the consciousness for the highest good of all, the people that believe that it's possible, that want to live this evolution of sustainability, this idea of sustainability that combines that physical and that emotional sustainability to create this way of life. We're bringing together people that believe that this is possible and want to participate, and we are creating the pathway. We are creating the step-by-step -step blueprints, tools, tutorials, resources, and open source instructions for constructing everything necessary to build teacher demonstration hubs around the world. And all the components that we're working on are replicable as either the individual components or as the complete teacher demonstration hub and model. So the idea is that if we keep creating with the consciousness for the highest good of all, bringing together people that believe that this is possible and creating for the best of all humanity and life, then everything that we're doing is to the best of our ability moving that direction. And so if people replicate even a little bit of what we're doing, if people evolve it and grow it even a little bit, it's a step in the right direction. But our intent is to reach that tipping point of implementation of sustainable and open source solutions around the world so that we can create a world that works for everybody. So there's enough participation, not total participation, but enough participation to positively and permanently transform life for everybody. This is what we're doing. So if this sounds fun to you, if this sounds exciting to you, if it sounds like something you'd like to be a part of, we definitely invite you to get involved. Join us as either Pioneer member, which are the people that will be moving to the property, building everything that is one community, or join us as just a satellite member or as a consultant helping us behind the scenes, volunteering time to finish everything that it is that we're working on so we're shovel ready when we get the funding that's necessary to purchase the property and start building. This is our primary focus. Of course, the easiest way to help us out is to help share our information on social media. We're on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible. We're on LinkedIn. Uh, Pinterest, Tumblr, Reddit, Facebook, and about 15 others. And of course, the biggest way that somebody could help us, and we're still seeking that large-scale funding so that we can purchase the property, get that property under the ownership of the one community nonprofit organization, and then be able to take our whole open source creative process to the next level with the steps that really can only be accomplished once we own that property. So if you or somebody you know has the access to the resources, or if you know somebody has access to resources uh, to help us out with that, we would love to speak with you. Nobody at One Community is paid for what it is that we're doing. We are a 100% volunteer organization. Everything that we're doing, everything that we're creating has been created 100% with volunteer work. I'm not paid and neither is anybody else that's working for this project. We're doing it because we want to live this way. We're doing it because we believe that it's possible. We believe that it is a noble and worthwhile advent, uh, adventure and venture. And, uh, and so we're bringing together the people that agree with that. So if somebody would like to help out, well, also the small donations really help us out too. So the $5 donations, the $10 donations, the $15 donations, 20 the occasional $50 donations make a big deal. It is hundreds, actually thousands of dollars to operate a global organization like ours. And so those small donations help to cover our operating expenses and we continue to move forward. So I always like to say thank you for that. I always like to say thank you for following your progress too. Uh, if you'd like to receive more detailed specifics, see the links to all the open source content, everything that we're creating, you can visit our written blog. If you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to One Community Updates and we'll add you to our newsletter list. And uh, I always like to finish with one last thank you and to say that, of course, until next week, as we continue to build these sustainable and open source solutions, we will, week after week, keep on keeping on. Thank you for following our progress.